What is going on guys? How are you all doing? This is Yix here at Magna Crypto and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to do a market update on the big boy Bitcoin and also um, Band and Ocean Protocol. Obviously if you've been keeping up with the market we've had a, another somewhat big red day um, in the last 48 hours. Uh, Bitcoin is taking a big nosedive and so is the rest of the market, but it's all going according to plan. So let's dive straight into it. So over here I've got Bitcoin on the weekly time frame. As I've written, um, although we had a, a nice little uh, two week rally uh, that's uh, concluded in basically all those gains being taken away and um, retesting that 10,500 area. So you can see there's this trend line that is really respecting. It almost tapped it, um, reject, rejected off it. Um, so it went below the 10,500 level, uh, then went above it, and now it's retested it again. Um, and I think this may, may be um, a precursor to us going below uh, and then going over to that 9,500 area. It's also where that CME futures gap is. So um, some of us have got our eyes on that area. Um, just to pick up more liquidity so that we can actually, you know, go on that the next big run. As I said a couple of times, I think that it was around mid to end September when we will start the next rally. So we're coming up to the end of September now. Uh, so into the later part of that um, call. Um, and I think in definitely by October time, um, we'll start that next rally. Today, 22nd of September is also the autumn equinox. Um, I myself do like to look at the cycles of nature and this is when the night and day are at equal uh, length in terms of time. Um, so um, this is when the basically the nights are going to start become longer and, and the and the days will start to become shorter. Now, will that translate into into the crypto market and into the financial market? You know, let's see. You know, I do like to track these things and see if there is any correlation. Um, if there is a correlation, then you know during the equinox or the awesome equinox, they say that it's time to harvest, um, harvest whatever kind of ideas you have or you've been working on. So this could be a time when we go on a massive rally um, coming to the end of the year. Um, and also, you know, if you look at the previous bull market, it did peak uh, coming up to the end of the year. So let's see if there's any correlation there. So that's my um, thing on Bitcoin. I think we did obviously break past 10,500 temporarily and now I've retested it. Is it going to hold or is it going to break and, and, and uh, reclaim that kind of um, futures gap around 9,500? Uh, my money is on it will, um, but let's find out. Uh, let's go over to band protocol. So Band Protocol, uh, another crypto that I covered, very bullish on it. It's basically the competitor to Chainlink for those that don't know what it's about. It connects real world data uh, onto the blockchain. Um, and if you, if, you, if you wanna know more about it, please go over and watch the video that I made on it. Um, so as I said, short term bearish sentiment, uh, long term I'm definitely bullish. It doesn't look like we've bottomed out yet, so we, it looks like we could break below this and revisit the $4 area. And to be honest, even that's not very, very strong support. You know, we may just start to go down below um, and revisit the $1.50 um, area or $1.60 area because there's, there's not much in between these areas. Um, so I think uh, that is if if we break below this and then that, which I think this will definitely be broken, um, we may go as low as that, which would be somewhat of a catastrophe, but you know, that's what it looks like. 
Um, so again, I do want to um, emphasize, emphasize that I am long-term bullish on Band. It's a very, very good competitor to Chainlink, um, but I can't ignore the technicals in the short term anyway. So over to Ocean Protocol. I uh, just did a video on, uh, I've done a couple of videos on Ocean. Very, very bullish on this project as well. Really unlocking the value within data. Um, you know, the project is about creating a data marketplace where you can actually uh, rent out your data or give people access to your data in a secure manner obviously for a fee and this will unlock a lot of private data that is just locked away siloed away in many companies that have got very valuable data um but yeah please go over and watch the video that i, I did on that uh on ocean a couple of them um but yeah so it, it, you've got obviously major low here and major high and uh somewhat mid area a lot of indecision uh, over here after we bottomed uh, somewhat bottomed out and create that low um, i think that we will retest that mid 45 cent region if we do that with stronger volume uh, we will definitely need stronger volume like this then we'll probably breach that and then go to um, retest the 63 cent area otherwise it will be in my opinion a rejection and then back down to 35 cents potentially if we go back below that it could be free for all who knows you know up to eight cents um that would be worst case scenario so up to or down to this area um but there are obviously there's 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 points between this area that i could um stop for support but this is the next major, major uh, area that was resistance and probably now it's now support. Um, so, you know, it all depends on how much volume we can get to to really take us up there. This this liquidity that um, it potentially could have claimed, you know, that could be enough to take us higher. We will see. Um, but yeah, long term, very, very bullish on um, this project regardless of what happens in the short term. Uh, let's have a look at BAT and we'll finish the, I won't do Ethereum, everyone does that. So I'm just gonna finish off with BAT and then call it a day. So BAT, another project that I'm, I am bullish on long term, fantastic use case um, to really revolutionize the kind of digital ad um, model that's currently used you know being bombarded with pop-ups um, it's just very very you know annoying this the way bat have structured has structured the kind of publisher advertiser and creator system is really really revolutionary and a lot of people are jumping onto this project in terms of its use case and utility in the long in the long run will always uh, win um, and a lot, a lot of people are using like tens of millions of people are using the Brave browser, um, and you get paid for watching ads, you know. So it's fantastic, fantastic project, um, but very annoying to hold uh, because it doesn't seem to like to hold on to its gains. But we had a strong rally uh, from after the COVID crash, um, retesting a major resistance level at around 40, 45 cents, let's say was not able to stay above this um, or turn this resistance into support unfortunately um, after it had crashed below that as you can see uh, it was respecting this major trend line for a little while and it even broke below that so if it doesn't uh, manage to get back above it then you know it does look like we'll probably be going down to the 16 cent area um, which would be quite unfortunate um, so we'll have to see how it responds. If we have another, you know, red day soon, then I think it's definitely looking likely that we'll go below that. It seems that if it goes below that, then there might be a lot of liquidity um, that I can pick up to go back above. Um, but it's looking quite bearish, to be honest. 
uh, it's looking quite bearish especially with the volume really dropping off it's not looking too good but that's going in line with the rest of the market so you know nothing new there um, as I said in my one of my calls um, I think that you know mid to end September is when you know this massive correction will stop um, um, as I said earlier in the video it's looking like it's going to be the end of September potentially the beginning of October but definitely in the month of October I think the next rally will start um, that's what I've, that's my call and that's what I'm sticking to um, because we have you know as you can see from March we had a massive strong rally and this is the, this is the entire crypto market especially the DeFi space we had a massive rally and so we will have a equal a measure correction and that's what we're having we cannot be greedy this is how it's supposed to happen so i think october end of september october is when we'll have the next rally so hold on you know don't lose hope don't panic and just you know hold your coins and and you know not financial advice but i like to dollar cost average and that's what i'm always doing so that will be the end of the video um i hope you got some value from that and um, if you want me to cover any coins any other coins projects do let me know um, but in the meantime peace